Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Jackie. <laughs> How you doing, Jackie? Daily. No, it's not daily. Midweek mana. That's all we're here for. Good morning for those that are getting connected. Good morning for those that are going to be connected soon. Uh, I'm glad that you guys are here. I want to read this verse in the Bible. I'm excited today. I'm excited what God is speaking. I'm excited what God is going to do with this day. So I'm, I'm going to start praying. Lord, I thank you for everybody that is connecting. I thank you, everybody that is going to connect. Because regardless, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for this day. I thank you for this way to be able to speak for those people that are going to listen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the buildings. Thank you for the churches. Thank you for the places. Thank you for Facebook. Thank you for these ways that we can share your word and share what you say in your word, God. And that's what we're doing because what we're hoping here, more than likes and more than sharing this video, we want people to be changed and transformed. And your word say that you word set us free, that you were restore us, that you were bring peace, that you were bring love, that your word is our daily bread and it should be our daily bread. That your the your word come our thirst, you know, and, and if we are thirsty, when we drink your word, when we read your word, when we listen to your word, there's the you say Jesus will be thirst no more. So Father I value this. I value this time of speaking. I value this time of people that are listening. That these people, that because I know that we got the opportunity to hear your word and read your word. Amen and amen. Revelation one six. Part of seven says this. Actually, uh, part of five. I'm gonna read a little. It said, "To him who loved us and hath freed us from our sin." by his blood and in, in, in revelation 1 6 says this and he made us to be a kingdom and priest to serve his god and father to him be the glory and the power forever and forever amen Whew, i'm excited because this is what it's saying is that jesus christ forgive you and forgive me of our sin and make us priests what that means, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Before sin, everybody was a priest. What that means is everybody was able to come to God. Everybody was able to listen to God. Everybody was able to have a relationship, communication with God. Well, then sin come and separate us. So then in Leviticus, God established, in Leviticus, He established how only the priests they had to do to all these rituals will be able to be in, in the presence of God and hear God and, and, and communicate to the people. But you got to understand, you are, this didn't exist in the beginning of creation. Why? Because there were not separation, there were not sin. So today we're going to read in Levitical what are the things of the priest. Look in Levitical 6, 12. You know, from A, 9, 10, you can read this later. I'll leave that as a homework. But it turns says this, the fire, 12, Leviticus 6, 12 says, The fire on the altar must be keeping burning. It must not go out. Every morning, the priest is to add firewood and arrange the burnt offering on the fire and burn the fat of the fellowship offering on it. 
The fire must keep burning on the altar continuously. It must not go out. Well, the whole Levitical 6, 8, 9, 10, it gives the descriptions of what the priest was needing to do. Once again, before this, before sin, there were not such a thing. It was the relationship was freely with God. But because of sin and the separation, he established the priest that had to go to all these Listen, the priest was supposed to be a whole year of reading the word and being the word to just get in in the presence of God one time and, and, and come out and communicate to the people. But regardless of all those details, right here what we're reading today is in, in Revelation that Jesus Christ, because of his blood, forgive us of our sin, and now he made us for his kingdom, he makes us all priests. So what is it we supposed to do? Well, when we read in Levitical, he told the priest what they supposed to do. So yes, through Jesus Christ, now we don't have to do all this ritual, but this is a reality. We gotta keep the fire of Jesus Christ burning every day. Let's go simple and let's go honest to this reality, okay? You receive Jesus Christ. I receive Jesus Christ. Because what Revelation says, Jesus Christ forgive our sin. And in his kingdom, he make us all priests. Now, what are we doing with that? You know, and like, for example, the day start today. Are we focusing in Jesus? Are we adding wood every day? Are we reading the word of God every day? Are we praying every day or not? So you now have the opportunity, because we still live in this world, in this sinful world, to focus in that Jesus Christ that forgive you, to focus in Him by reading, and His kingdom, and His freedom. And that's what it means about today. Today is, yes, you know, the, 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 the priest was supposed to take the ashes out and then add wood every day. Well, what will happen today if you have a fire? Okay, uh, let's build a camping. Camping is coming soon. We can hear the, the sound of the um, sequoias, sac how you call it? <laughs> uh, we hear the sounds of the animals outside. I'm outside today. So we usually at this season, we go camping sometime. And what do we do? We build a fire. You know, and we, what do we do in that? We put wood, we light it up. But the wood is burning. And then what? What happened? That would become and then make ashes. So outside, probably you don't have to take the ashes away. If it's a fire inside in your fireplace, you do have to take the ashes. Why? Because the ashes turn the fire down. So let's keep it simple. Let's keep it a reality. So what happens if you don't add more wood? Well, the fire go down. Well, Jesus Christ came and light up a fire in your life. Do you still remember that day that you said, Jesus, I recognize my sin? Woo, thank you for dying for me. I give you my heart. I give you my mind. I give you my soul. Do you remember that day? It was amazing, wasn't it? Well, so that, that was the first time that that fire was light up in your life and my life. The question is, what are we doing to keep that fire burning? And it's like everything else. You got married. Do you remember when you got married? Do you remember when you were in love with your wife and love with your husband? Do you remember that? But what are we you doing to keep the fire burning in your marriage? And, and we can keep going. Do you remember when you applied for that job that you love it so much? You know, and you were so excited. I'm going to be teaching. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing that. And all. That's awesome. What are you doing to keep that fire burning in your job? And, and specifically, let's talk about God kingdom. Listen, and and. In the Bible, in, in Matthew 28, it says that Jesus became the Lord of all, of heavens and on earth. He said, he said, all the power and authority have been given to me in earth and in heaven. Not just in heaven, in earth and in heaven. And then he said, there go forth, go and make disciples. So this is what I'm saying. We got to keep that fire burning. Yes, keep the fire. And this is a practical word of God today for your marriage, for your work, for everything. You started with this passion. You started with this love. And I believe God is saying today, what are you doing to keep the fire burning? Well, he make you a priest. He make me a priest. 
And he gave practicals why in Leviticus 6 how to do it. Simple. Take the ashes out. The fire from yesterday is gone. You know, that experience that you have when you got married, when you first fell in love with your boyfriend and your girlfriend, with your job. But now, the, that fire is going to keep going if you add wood. Well, the Word of God is here for that. And that's what we're doing today. We're adding wood to a reality that Jesus Christ is real. That Jesus Christ loves you. That Jesus Christ is calling you. That Jesus Christ is saying, listen, keep that fire burning. And, and in, the, in, the, in the Bible, throughout the whole Bible, the Holy Spirit was the representation of fire. Actually, when he came and acts, it's a, the, the people that saw it, it was like seeing fire in the top of their head. You know, it was like they were on fire. <laughs> That's awesome! So, so what I would say with all this, well, we need more of him. And so what are we doing for that? What are we doing? So, and I'm going to give you practical, simple things to do. Number one, read the Word of God more. Number two, Fill your life with His presence because He's the fire in us. So how do we do that? Just put worship music. Put it in auto play. If you have Amazon in your uh, Alexa, you have uh, uh, Siri in your phone, you have this thing, just say, hey, Alexa, play worship music all day. And then fill your house with His fire. Same thing about your marriage. Do you have in ashes that you need to remove, which is mean forgiveness? Maybe you need to forgive. Maybe you need to let go and add wood. What do you mean with that, Damien? Be practical. Add wood. You know, if you're the man, go. if she likes roses, go buy her a rose. You know, you're going to add wood to that fire. If he, you know, have you ever read the five love language? Well, read it. Discover what are the five love language that you can give to your, to your, to your significant other. You know, that she receive love by word of affirmation. That she receive love by by uh, quality time. That's what the book talks about. So learn what are the things that your other significant other need and then add wood, add wood. You're taking care of them, you're gonna be taking care of yourself. Your work, just go back to what was that fire that you have? What was it and where did you lost it? <laughs> you know, the Bible say, go back to that first love. You know, go back to that first love. Well, I'm in love with Jesus. And, and, and I used to be in love with Jesus. Well, why? Maybe because you stopped adding wood to the fire, you know? Maybe you did. Maybe you stopped adding wood. You know, I remember when my parents tried to convince me to go to church. Today, they don't have to convince me to go to church because I have realized with time that I need the church because I need to add wood to this fire. I need to worship Him because that helped me focus on Him, not on myself. What happens if we don't add wood? Well, the ashes, the experiences with God, they end up being experiences of your father, of your mother, experiences in the past. And then we start focusing more on the present and that fire starts going down. But when you add the word of God and ha continuously have that relationship with God, then that fire is on. So today I want to pray simple things, really simple Add wood to that fire and remove. That's part of forgiveness. You forgive others. You forgive what they've done in the past. You forgive the bad experience in your work. You forgive those things because the reality is we don't have time for negativity. We don't have time for unforgiveness. We don't have time for our flesh to determine who we are. We don't have time for selfish, for jealousy, for all this junk. But the only way is we, we stop feeding these insecurities and these things that we have in our flesh, and we feed the fire. I was talking about the representation of the fire as the Holy Spirit. What does the Holy Spirit bring? Love, compassion. Those are the fruit of the Spirit. He brings peace. He brings joy. He brings uh, kindness. All these things are in the fire of the Holy Spirit. So let's go practical and simple. Add that things in your life. Add kindness. Add love. Add compassion. Add, add this to your merit. Add this to your work. And guess what? God and His fire is going to continue uh, build, bringing love and peace and joy in you. And then you're going to be contagious. You're going to be dangerous. <laughs> because you're going to give that fire to others. Whew, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The other day I was sharing with a friend, and I'll leave you with this. This is not a great testimony, 
But I have a friend that for the first time they took me to a farm. I was 14, 15 years old. And they said, let's bring uh, bombs, you know, they make with a glass and you put gasoline and you put alcohol inside and then you put a piece of liner and then you see that in manifestation and in crazy people, they light it up and they threw it and they explode. Well, my friends, we were teenagers. We had this crazy idea that let's build these bombs because they're wild hogs, wild pigs, and we're going to throw it to them. Well, I end up, at the end, they're like, no, let's not do this. It's crazy. But uh, as a teenager, I took one and I put it between my pants. And uh, we went to this farm and we are in the farm. And, uh, and I... I do these crazy things. I didn't realize that the bomb was kind of open and that liner was getting wet with alcohol and gasoline. So we play in a game, you know, like an old game. You threw a ball and a, it, the, you threw a little ball and then the big ones you throw in and the one that get closer to the little one win. And as a crazy kid, I'm not thinking right. I lie, you know, I throw the ball and I'm losing. So I... I, I kind of playing, I light up that liner and it was full with alcohol and gasoline and I get on fire. And I get on fire and now I'm in the middle of a farm. They, they all, all they have is wealth. And then those wealth, you know, and, and they didn't even, they were kind of poor, so they didn't have a wealth. So what they do is they buy these big buckets of water, but that water, it lasts them for weeks a month. Well, these poor, poor people, they saw me on fire and I'm running on fire. And not only that, Remember that alcohol, gasoline thing is inside of my pants, so it's about to explode. When that liner gets there, it's an explode. So I could not be alive today out of this craziness that I did. So, but I'm in fire. <laughs> I love fire, by the way, but now I, I treat it differently. So they run to me and threw all that water and threw that fire down. Well, Damien, what are you trying to say? Well, I was obviously as a teenager at that point, I was doing stupid things. So I was feeding, I was adding wood in my fire out of stupidity, you know? Well, let's not do that. Let's stop right now. You don't need to add wood every day. You know, if you feel offended, forgive. If you don't forgive, you're gonna be stupid as ass was stupid. Because I know everybody's like, Damian, how you sharing that story, that was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, I was a teenager. But today you and I are an adult. And guess what? We're doing the same thing. We put in these high bombs inside of our heart. Yeah. You get offended with your husband. You get offended with your wife. You get offended by your boss. You get offended in your work. And guess what? You are putting that explosive thing inside of you. And it's in a matter of time that you're going to be in fire on the wrong thing. But you can stop it right now. How? Get rid of it. I should have got rid of it of that bomb. I should have got rid of it, of that wrong fire. I should have not even taken it or considered it to take it, to throw it to wild pig. That was stupid. Well, today we're doing the same thing. We add in anger. We add in jealousy. We add in these, all these bad things to our heart. And it's in the matter of time that it's going to be light up in the wrong way. How do we stop that today? How do we stop that today? That insecurity, those things in your head. Talk it through, man. Talk it through. Go through a counselor. Christian, no. Yes, but today, how do we stop it right now? Forgive. Let it go. Get rid of those things. And add peace, joy, kindness in your life. Forgive. Move on. Read the Word of God. He died for all of us. He forgave us all. And the only way that you're going to be light up in the right fire, if you feed that fire. Jesus Christ died in the cross for you and me. You receive it. That fire is in you. So all you have to do now is do a maintenance. <laughs> That's why we go to church. Do a maintenance right now. Open the Bible. Read it. The fruit of the Spirit. Our amaze and our peace. So how do we fill it up? Well, fill it up. Read the Word of God more than anything else. Listen to Christian music that build you instead of crazy things that destroy you. So let's pray. Father, we give it all back to you. Help us not to be stupid. And to build these bombs like I did as a teenager that are going to destroy us. They're, we are adults now. We don't need to build issues 
and marriages. We don't need to build issues in our work. We don't need to build issues with political. We don't need to get caught up with all these worldly things. We have a choice. You are the Lord in heaven and in earth. So help us, Jesus, to be good priests like you say that we are. And every day take the ashes away and add your wood, your word. You say, Lord, that your word is what we need. That is the water that come our thirst. Is the solution for our marriage. Is the solution for our family. Is the solution for our work. So, Father, I pray right now that every single people, that every single person that is listening, we make a choice right now to say no more, no more to f- feed in this insecurity, no more to feed in this ego. I'm right. She's wrong. She's wrong. I'm right. They're wrong in my work, I'm right. It's all about you, Jesus. And if we build our life adding your word, adding more of you, we are going to be this instrument that everybody will see who you are and want more of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Lindsay Ryan. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, all the ones that are, have been sending messages here and uh, Richie Jones, uh, I'm just reading. God bless you. God bless you. And I hope that God used this simple message today. Like it's helping me. It's helping me big time because it's a daily thing. It's a daily thing that I had to do is like to die to this flesh and add wood to his presence, to his spirit. And I know that you all doing the same. So God bless you. Have a blessed day. We love you.